Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a what's in my travel makeup bag, what I'm packing with me to go to New York City. I leave tomorrow morning to go to Jacqueline Hill's release for Prosecco Pop, which I'm so excited about. So many of my friends are going. I'm taking Hunter with me. It's just going to be a quick overnight trip, like we're leaving in the morning, staying overnight, coming back the next day, which is basically an overnight trip. Glad that I cleared that up for you guys. Sorry if you hear construction and banging and screaming and music. Um, we're having our deck redone and they're out there now. So um, yeah, I haven't pulled any products out yet. I thought it would be kind of fun to like actually focus the camera on my beauty box and my drawers and like pull stuff out with you guys instead of just holding stuff up and saying I'm taking this, I'm taking this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see what is in my travel makeup bag, this little guy, travel makeup bag, this. Just keep watching. Okay, so this is my everyday drawer. I have like my concealers, my correctors, products that I grab for every day. So for concealer, I'm going to take my Morphe concealer in Oats. I have been loving this and using it like every day. I think this is the only under eye concealer that I'm gonna take. I'm that confident in her loyalty, in her ability, ability. There we go. And then for my face, for blemishes, I'm gonna take NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. I like this one for blemishes. Of course, I'm taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Eye Primer. This is like my life. If I didn't take this, I wouldn't be able to do my eye makeup. So definitely, she must go into the bag. Then I'm also going to take this Smashbox Color Correcting Stick in Dark. I've been using this for correcting my under eye circles and it works really well. It's like this really peachy orangey tone, but I really like this. I've been using it the past like four days. It is good stuff. And what else do I need in here? Oh, I have to take my favorite um, L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in Black. This is my everyday black eyeliner. Favorite black liner ever. And I think that might be it for this drawer. Yeah. So that is it for this guy. Over here, this is just a little, like I've been trying to kind of figure out what to put in here. So she's a little empty right now. Um, and then as far as mascaras, I know I'm kind of going out of order. Let me get you guys in focus. As far as mascara goes, I'm just going to take my Essence Lash Princess. This is the only one that I need. Actually, I lie. I also need my um, MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash because I use this for my lower lashes, and it's bomb. And then in this bottom drawer, this is, again, just like an assortment. Um, I'm definitely taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder because this is what I use to bake. I hate taking this big thing and it's almost empty, but I need it. So she's going and I'm going to take my NARS crystal powder, my pressed one, because this is what I usually use to set my under eyes. She's going and... Do I want to take this MAC powder? I should probably take this, um, the Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Dark, just to set my entire face, and I use this for touch-ups throughout the day, so I'll take her too. And then I am taking <laughs> Hot Sand, I have to. This is just like my favorite highlighter at the moment, and I can use Laguna as my bronzer, so yeah. Oh, oh sorry, we'll take her. I do think I'm going to take my Tarte Tartist blush palette just because it gives me options. Wait, do I want to take this one? Hang on. Um, let's decide. I could take this guy or I could take, could you please stay? Thank you. I could take this one. Which one? Oh, you know what? I might take this one because it gives me a little bit more options and I kind of want to use beaming and it's super tiny to travel with, like it's super thin. Hey, what is that, a little fuzzy. So yeah, I'm gonna go with her and we'll leave this sexy mama at home. 
Okay, from this top drawer, this is just like necessities, brow products, tweezers, things like that. I'm going to take my House of Lashes lash glue because this is my favorite and I will definitely be wearing lashes. I'm going to take my Revlon tweezers because they're my favorite. I'm also going to take these little guys. These were a dollar at shopmissa.com and I love these things for applying false lashes. So I'm definitely going to throw those in the bag. And then as far as brows go, I'm taking my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I think this might be almost empty, so I'm also going to grab my ColourPop one just in case. And I've been kind of mixing these two together and really liking the outcome. So as far as highlighters go, this is my little drawer that goes in my acrylic box. I just pulled it out and set it on my vanity. Um, these are just highlighters that I've been loving and using a lot. But I'm going to take this guy. This is the Violet Voss Highlighting Trio. I'm like straddling my camera right now. I just got this in the mail today, but it is gorgeous. It comes out May 19th. But I think this is the highlighter that I'm going to take. That's how much faith I have in this little guy. I used it today and it just looked so gorgeous on. The powders are very soft. They're very pigmented. So yeah, and that gives me some variety too. So I'm going to take this little guy and give it a try. Usually I would not take a brand new product that I haven't really tested fully, but I think this is really good and I'm comfortable taking it. So that's going to be my highlighter. And I guess we're done with this little guy. That was quick. I'm not ready to be done with highlighters yet. Can't we stay and play? Nah. Okay, as far as bronzers go, I do have Laguna with my little um, hot sand duo. But I do want to take a contour powder, but it's not in here. Hang on, let me grab it. I think I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs, even though this is big and I hate traveling with it. I just love the way this looks on. This is the Mirage Filter, and I can also use that to brighten up the center of my face. So I think that's what I'm going to take. Do I need anything from in here? This is just like a mix. Um. Oh my god, I really want to take my sleek highlighting. <gasps> can I take two highlighters? Oh my god, you guys, look at this thing. I have to take this. I have to. I'm sorry. I know that's excessive. I'm only going for two days, but I have to take it. Just let me live. I want to take some glitter. I have these NYX glitters here. Um, I don't know which one I want to take, though. I kind of want to take this bronzy one. This is really pretty. Maybe I'll take her along. Yeah, this is in the shade... Hang on, let me figure it out. This is in the shade, just entertain yourselves for a moment, please. Oh, it's in the shade bronze, go figure. I'm gonna throw her in just so I have a little glittery option if need be. And I think that's it for this drawer. As far as palettes go, I have like my favorites back here. I think the only one that I'm taking from here though is my Morphe, well, it's not really Morphe. It's mostly Makeup Geek Anastasia and MAC shadows. This is my everyday Z palette. So I have to take this. It has my black shadow. It has peach smoothie for my crease and it has nylon for MAC, which I need all of those on a daily basis. Sorry, I'm trying to get it in focus. So I definitely have to take her and other eyeshadows that I'm taking are these two guys. I know they're ginormous and probably not the best for traveling. But a bitch needs options. So this, you guys, this is the 350 Shimmer Palette from Morphe. I mean, come on. I might want to do champagne. I might want to do a rusty red. I might want to do a dark brown eye. Who knows? A girl needs options. I'm not going to take the matte one only because I have matte shades in my, um, my little Z palette. But... Oh my god, I really want to. Oh, but I can't. But I really want to. Okay, so for primers, I think the only one that I'm going to take is my Hourglass Mineral Veil. I'm not going to take my Nivea one unless I put just a tiny bit of it into a little container, which I may still do. But this one keeps me pretty matte, so that'll be good. And then for foundation, oh god, this is just 
stressful. I have to take my NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint because I mix this with any foundation that I use and it helps to keep me matte. So I'm going to take her, I need the darkest shade though. I need Cusco. So she's gonna go along and you guys already know I'm taking my Too Faced Born this way because it just makes my skin look so freaking good. Even though I'll be greasy like four hours in, it's okay, the party I think is only four hours. So yeah, taking her in warm beige. When I am taking my um, Glossier Balm.com in coconut, I'm gonna throw that into my little tote bag so I have it with me on the train. Oh, now we have to decide lipsticks. This is the hardest part, you guys. Okay, a few things I forgot to show you guys. So I picked out my lip products, but I also have a few other things in here. So I'm taking my YSL Tint In Lip Oil. This one is in, hang on, let me check. I don't know which one this is. It doesn't really say anything on it, but it's the super light pink one. And this is just a lip oil, exactly what the name suggests. So I like that just for like throughout the day if my lips get dry. Also taking, you know, my beloved Fresh Sugar. I never go anywhere without this. It is the best. And a girl has to have options. So, well, before I do lips, let me just show you these. I'm taking, are these all lip liners? I'm like looking through my viewfinder. These are lips. These are eyeliners from ColourPop. So I'm taking the gold one and I'm taking the like bronzy brown one. Let me see what these shades are. So this one is Dirty Talk. It's like a true gold. And then this guy is Overboard. Again, I'm straddling my camera. So I'm taking those two. I'm picturing a very, very like a bronzy gold super highlighted look for the party so that's what's kind of in my head um and then i'm taking my glossier boy brow because i have been loving this stuff so much i see what all the hype is about it is so good taking that as my brow gel and then for lips this is where I need options. This is Aquarius from ColourPop. This is what I'm taking as my like nude lip option just for like during the day if I need to throw something on. I love Aquarius. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I'm taking the Aquarius lip liner as my nude lip liner. And then if I'm feeling a red lip or like a bright lip, I'm taking NYX Indie Flick. You guys know this is my favorite like bright orangey red. It's so neon and so pretty. I may end up wearing this to the party. It's a good party lip color. And if I'm feeling pink, I'm taking the Rabbit from ColourPop, the Ultra Satin. This is my favorite ultra satin. And my other favorite one is Little Stitious, which I just wore in, I think, my last video. I have to take this just because I love it so much. And at some point in the two days that I'm there, I may need to wear this. And then for lip gloss, all I'm taking is Oyster Girl from MAC. This is my favorite lip gloss of all time. It's just, if you don't own it, we can't be friends. And then I'm also taking the Milani Amore Metallic in Chromatic Addict. I had this one today. It's a very metallic gold matte lipstick. I like to put gloss over it, but I have a feeling this is probably what I'll end up wearing to the party. Even though I really want to wear the bright one, this will go with the look that I have in my head. So yeah, I just want to have some options. So that's it for lips. Please excuse this mess, you guys. This is my little area where I just like hoard everything. So I am taking my beauty blender for sure. Um, as far as brushes go, okay, let's see if I can do this on camera because I haven't picked anything out. So I'm definitely taking my A23 brush from ABH. This is my favorite brush for highlighting. I use it every day and I would die without it. Dramatic yet true. I'm going to take this e.l.f. brush. I don't know what this is called, but I love this for foundation. So if I'm feeling like using a brush for foundation, which I usually use a beauty blender, but for more coverage, I may use this. Anyway, I'm taking this. Oh, and I am going to wash these brushes before I go. I'm just picking them out now, and then I'm going to wash them tonight. So I'm not taking crusty-ass brushes with me. Um, for setting my under eyes, I'm using my Wayne Goss Double Zero brush. This brush 
is expensive, but it is so soft. Do you like how I'm like reaching around? Isn't this weird? I feel kind of fancy doing this. Anyway, I'm taking this for my under eyes and just for like setting my T-zone. Ugh, so good. For blush, I've been using my NARS, oh, what is this called? Yachio Kabuki brush. It needs washed. It hasn't been washed in a hot minute. Um, but I like this for blush. It's like the perfect size. And yeah, it's good. So I'm taking her. Look how cute it is. Mine is crusty. Um, what else? For contouring, oh geez, I'm going to take my NARS Eda brush. This is my favorite brush for contouring. I just love this. Oh, I'm also taking this Benefit brush. I like to use this to wipe away powder, like if I bake. Or this is just a good overall brush. You can use this for bronzer, for blush, for setting your under eyes. It's just a really good all-around brush, and it is so soft. This is one of my favorite brushes. I love this thing. And I'm going to take my Mr. Right brush from Too Faced just as like a bronzer, just again, just like a universal brush, just so I have like a larger fluffy brush for whatever I may need this for. Super soft. I can't stop touching it. It's so soft. Okay, so on to eye brushes. I'm going to take my E40 from Sigma because this is my favorite crease brush of all time. Like for laying down my transition shade, this is the best. Sorry, I feel like you guys can't see it that good. And then for a smaller crease brush, like to really define my crease, I'm taking this LNY brush. It's a perfect dupe for the MAC 217. I actually prefer this one over the 217. It is my favorite, favorite crease brush, and I have a ton of them. Best one, and it was like six bucks on eBay. I'm taking two pencil brushes, so I'm taking my E36 from Morphe, which is what I always use for my lower lash line, but I'm also going to take this Morphe E18. This one's a little bit bigger, and I like this for my lid, like the outer part of my lid. If I just want to deepen things up, this is the perfect little brush for that. My favorite liner brush, I got this at Michaels. It is a, it's like a no-name brush. I don't even know what the brand is. It is the best angled brush I have ever used in my life, and I think it was like $6. And I think that's it for eye brushes. The only other thing that I'm going to need are my lash curlers. These are from Shiseido. They're filthy. I need to wash them off. And then for my inner corner, I'm taking this little E21 brush from Sigma. I love this brush for doing the inner corner. It is perfection. I use it. You guys have seen me use it in every single get ready with me. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to take my Roto eye drops. These are really good if your eyes are first off dry, but if they're looking red, sometimes the whites of my eyes get really red. These will make the whites of your eyes so insanely white. It is crazy. And you never realize how much of a difference it makes until I started using these and now I can't be without them. Oh my god, I almost forgot Fix Plus. I'm going to take... Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to take my Rose one. This is the Cucumber one. These were a limited edition. Um, ah, huh. This Rose one is almost empty, but I have a backup. So I'm going to take some Fix Plus. And for setting spray and priming spray, I'm going to take my Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray and Makeup Primer Spray. We're out of focus. There this we go. This might seem excessive, but I'm going to Jacqueline Hill's launch party, so I'm doing this shit for the back row. You know what, guys? I have to stick Pamplemousse in from Jouer. I know I'm taking the Milani one that's very similar to this, but this is my favorite, so I, ju I just have to take her. It's like a, a safety issue. I mean, a security blanket kind of thing. Just let me have my pample moose, people. Don't question me. Okay, so we are officially ready for New York City. Well, I should probably pack my suitcase and do something with this hair. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is pretty much all I have for you, though. I love you guys. I will be hopefully vlogging when I'm in New York. I always say I'm going to vlog and then just the footage is so terrible that nothing ever comes of it because I'm just the worst vlogger in the history of the world, but one day I will get it. I'm going to try. I'll be snapping a lot. You guys know that. I'll be posting on Instagram, so just follow me on social media if you want to see like behind the scenes. 
Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. I'm sweating my sweet little nipples off. It is as hot as a sack of donkey nuts in here. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. Not quite as hot now because I took my pants off. <laughs> I'm head to toe in highlighter right now. What, shoulders? Collarbones? It's the everywhere. But yeah, I think that's... <sighs> I'm just gonna... My battery's dying. <sighs> Hey guys! Whoa! Wow! Hey guys! So the disrespect is at an all-time high. Yeah, you better stop. Are you done? This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why. This is why. This is why I'm hot. I'm hot because I'm fat. You ain't because you're not. I thought it would be kind of cool instead of just like pulling stuff out and oh wait sorry I have an edge. Ooh, ooh. I have so much makeup on right now I shouldn't scratch anything because there will be like a bald patch no jewelry like could you try um so I thought it would <laughs> so I thought it would be cool if I just like focus the camera on my drawers and <laughs> drawers 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 I'm so sorry about that stupid music in the background if I could go downstairs and pound my construction guy over the head with his drill 